I just wanted to go a little bit more in depth about the motorcycle class that I took. I'm currently in Orange right now, so I took the motorcycle class with Orange County Motorcycle Training, which was pretty awesome. So I found out that the fee that they charge is pretty standard. $258 for folks who are over 21 years old, and if you're under 21, then it is only $150, I think. Once I decided which class or which company that I was going to be taking it with, I figured out when I was going to take it. The class splits off into two, so they have a morning class and an afternoon class for the riding portion. So I chose the one at 6.30 a.m. Wow. Overall, there's three classes, and before I get into what these three classes are, I'd like to stress that they wanted three things, which was one, don't be late, and then two, bring your ID, and then the third is wear the right clothes and shoes. Shoes, most importantly. On the first day, it's an evening class. I think I went from six p.m. to like 9.30 p.m. It's basically just to go through the slides and the information. It's a lot. It was really interesting for me because I don't really know that much about riding motorcycles in the U.S. But I also didn't read the motorcycle handbook, which I would recommend that you do before going. So that was the first evening class. So that was on Thursday. And then on Saturday morning at 6, I found it really hard to get out of bed even though I thought it, it wasn't going to be that hard because I'd be so excited. Things change at 5 a.m. in the morning. I got there right on time. So it was 6.30. I thought I might be late. I took the wrong exit. It was horrible. I was very stressed out. I had to go and get a helmet fitted. I had to get gloves. Uh, so they provide those too. You just provide the shoes, long sleeve shirt, and a sturdy pants and then go out and choose your bike and hopefully you choose an easy bike to ride on. So I was kind of like being hesitant because I was late. I got this red sports bike that nobody else was walking towards and later the instructor comes over and was like, hey, do you want to get another bike? This might be a little bit hard, especially if you're a beginner. And I was like, uh... The morning class was then also divided up into two ranges. So one of the range, one instructor with like four, six folks, and then the other range had two instructors and that was eight bikes. So they just went basically through where things are, beep your horn, and if you have any questions, always feel free to ask the instructors. They've done this for a really long time. So 6.30 a.m. until like 10 or 11, riding out on the course and you know, bring water. They also provided some waters for us. And then an hour uh, was reserved for like in classroom, just going through more information. And then the second day was basically the same thing, except there was a writing test, uh, which they will tell you that, you know, the, this is the writing test. This is like, you get this many mistakes or points or whatever. My advice would be to take it easy because really I was just trying to pass the class. So one of the exercises, it was stopping on a curve and I guess I was too excited or something, but I stopped too early while I was still in the curve. That made me drop my bike and I got a bruise. That really sucked. So just take it easy, take it slow, be careful and just do it right. It definitely did not get full points on my test, although two other people did, so it is possible. And also, I think I got this from the first day, was just to be smooth. Just try to like be a calm, relaxed, responsible, smooth rider. So, did the writing test, and they tell you right away if you passed or not, and um, I wonder if it's because like we pay $258 and it's not that hard or they they definitely try their best to make sure that they give you all the resources to pass. Like if you have any questions, I definitely ask like is there anything that I can do better and they, they tried to give me some advice. But I passed. Yay! I thought I wasn't going to pass because I had failed my driver's test twice. but. And then there was also the written 
test which I was afraid that I was going to fail because I also failed my driver's written test permit thing like three times. So what I did to prepare was read the California Motorcycle Manual and then I also tried to go over it during our breaks, kind of like what does the what do these acronyms mean? And I also looked up questions online. But I passed the written test. Yay! And all I wanted was just to pass. Like I don't really care. That was basically my experience. I came out of that class really elated. I was so happy that I finally got through this motorcycle class, I passed, I'm just waiting for the paperwork to come into the mail, and then I'm gonna go out to the DMV. So that's my motorcycle class experience, and hopefully I will be a proud owner of a motorcycle in the months to come, so we'll see how it goes.